What's going on guys, welcome back, it is episode number 24 of the EAFC career mode, feeling a bit under the world today, so sorry if I don't sound too great, but in today's episode guys, heading into it, January transfer window has officially opened, loads to get through today, including both legs of the Carrow Cup semi-final as well, so let's just get straight to it, starting off with a loan bid for Ed Davey, our youngster out of the academy, uh, Preston want to take Cameron on a loan to buy, want to get rid of that buy option, knows he's got some good potential, and Ruben West, our youngster, striker uh, went by Ross County and Bold Club uh, as well. I'm uh, going to accept the uh, the former and I'll stall the latter. Yeah, not feeling great guys. Got a massive ulcer on my upper lip. It's not great. I'm always getting ulcers, man. Seriously, I don't know why. Um, but you know, like, you know when you're ill and like when you swallow, it, it hurts a little bit and it just feels weird as well. Like it just, I can't, I can't really describe it better than that, but it just, it just feels a bit weird when you're swallowing. It's like, a, you know, that's exactly what I've got right now. It's not nice, man. It's not nice. But uh, still from the scouting, uh, still waiting for a gem from Ecuador. Is this the day? Is this the day we find a grey Ecuadorian? Caballero is not going to make it. Aguadelo isn't going to make it either. No, I don't. I don't think it's going to happen. Eduardo Ortega. I'm not too sure. I'll think about that. Still, still waiting for that first Ecuadorian to make the academy. There's a few decent ones, but uh, not just yet. Not just yet. I'm sure at least one is going to make the academy. But I'm being, I'm being very selective now because I feel as though we're in season three. We're halfway through. And our academy stacks, so I feel we can be selective, you know, as the best remains the Bartman, that uh, Lewandowski uh, replacement in the youth team right now. So, yeah, still looking good, but I, I really want at least one Ecuadorian. Right, first game, Wolves away at Molyneux. Not been a great run of form for the Hatters and outside of a European place. But to be fair, only the one defeat in five. We have got a nice little foothold after a struggling patch of form. Yeah, the three points here. Might go back into top seven. That's one in Gabriel. He's got Danny ahead of him, and he'll find him. Quick little counter here. And Gabriel Long has Barkley in the middle, wearing the armband, gets the contract extension, and oh, clips the post as it goes wide. Come on, man, we've got to win this game. Like, I, I know in the first two seasons, I go, oh, you know, the point in the way from home is a decent result. But now, no, 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 no. We've got to be braver now. We've got to target wins in these games. I don't know why I always take the mick out of myself and, and use an accent like that when I'm referring back to something I've said. I don't sound like that. Like, in, in no way do I sound like that. It's, oh, what a brilliant chest and finish. And Wolves have the lead. Crosses, I've seen a few comments from you guys saying that crosses are really, really OP this year. And I must say, I do agree as well. And slowly but surely getting better. But I really don't think that Europe is... Going to be at Kenilworth Road next season because I just I just don't feel we got the quality, man. We can't we can't win consistently enough. Listen, top top ten I think would be an amazing finish for us in our third season. It would show we're still on that upward trajectory, but I think I was I think I was blinded by our amazing start to the season when we were at one point in fifth. You know, we were we were overperforming, man. We were overperforming and then some. I get a late chance here for a goal. And a consolation. Lovely ball to Danny Loder, who's in behind Santiago Bueno. And the question is, can he now finish? Yes, he can. No, he can't. It's the post. How many times waited the woodwork this season, man? Honestly. I feel like European football is the dream fantasy marriage to your 10 out of 10 certified soulmate. You're not there yet. We're not there yet. Accept it, Doxy boy. It may happen one day, but it's not going to happen yet. you got to put in the work, mate. You're a long way off. So, just agreed a couple of loan deals for our young side of the academy. Uh, Andrew has just come back from his loan spell, as has Mengi, who I've put on the transfer list. Th there's £3 million pounds in the budget for the, uh, for the January window. I don't think we'll do anything, though. I really don't. I know we're in a poor run of form right now, but to be honest, dude, we'd have to sell one of our starting players if we were to raise the cash and bring someone of, of noteworthy quality. And so really, whilst the form has been poor, I say just stick with the boys, man, seriously. We'll sort it out in time. We'll sort it out in time. Just just back the boys, man. So moving on, uh, just loaned out the two young lads to Preston and Swansea and accepted a couple of other bids as well. Uh, heading into the next one, FA Cup third round. This is definitely a cup seat on the cards, man. I think I've only won one in my last six, so I've got to sort my form out, man. But... Well, that's semi-first leg in the week. I've got one eye on that clash against Spurs. So, got to avoid a banana skin, but there's definitely a potential for a cup set here. 
How much can I blame the uh, the poor form on illness? Not not a lot, right? So, <laughs> got to put it right here. As we dink that in. Oh my goodness, that's so poor. But it's okay, we're going to back. And he's on there, surely. Oh, is that my first time in any goal in FC24? I think it is. I think it is, and we will take it. Greatest diving header goal of all time, right? That is a comment for you guys today, and a question I'll ask you to answer in the comments. Greatest diving header goal of all time. There's a few candidates, but to me, the one that sticks out most, and I think most of you will be agreeing with me this in here, some might debate it, but mine would be Robin Van Persie versus Spain. World Cup, 20, was it 2010 or 2014? It was 2010. And uh, my goodness, that was just technique, flair, it had everything. And whilst this won't be a header goal, it is a finish. And it's two in the same for Danny Loder. Turn it up, avoiding that potential cup set, man. And what is the best diving header goal of all time? Comment below. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, okay, all right. Well, my defense hasn't exactly been stellar of recent, so not too surprised by that. Half an hour. I, th I think I think we'll be all right. It's the only time I've been inside, but uh, got got to be careful here. We throw this away, and then I'll really start to worry. Oh no, 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 no! Oh, Murich was safe. This is this is when you know you're struggling, man. When you are like clinging on to a one-goal lead in a game. Which you should have won comfortably. But you do hold on to it. A win is a win, man. A win is a win. Like, seriously, when you go for a tough spell, this don't just apply to football, but dating and everything else and in between in life. A win is a win at the end of the day, man. You take what you can get. So I've just accepted a couple more loan offers and Mengi has gone to Belgium on a permanent deal, £3 million. So our budget now is just over £5 million, But to be honest, that's just like not enough to really do anything with it. So I think with that being the case, just like the past two years, we'll leave that and let it carry over for the new season. Right, following game. Is this the biggest of the series? Is this the biggest one I've played so far? I think so. I think so. First leg. First time being in the final four, and to be honest here, in our really poor run of form, I just want to still be in the tie heading back to Luton. Let's see what we can do though. First leg, Spurs away. Not feeling too confident, but we know it's at Arsenal in North London, so why not another win here as well? So I've always been a firm believer in this, that like you, you kind of need evidence to support your theory. And that has just been so true for so many things in life. But like if you've if you've done something amazing before, then you have confidence you can go and do it again. But you need to have done it before, if that makes sense. Like, you need to have already had that evidence that you can do it to put it off again. And that's why, had we not beaten Arsenal in the last round, I would have gone into this game and just thrown out my entire back over again and said, you know what, we're, we're not going to be able to pull this off. But because, because I've got evidence that we went to North London in the last game and won, we can do it again. It's going to be tough, but I think we can do this again. As long finds out of bone. He's onside there. Oh! <laughs> Evidence to support your theory. I'll say it once again. You need it. If you've done it before, you can do it again. Okay? Firm believer in that. Firm believer in that. You've done it once before, that means you can do it once again. If you're ever going through a tough patch, man, just remind yourself, well, you've, you've, you've got through it before, you can get through it again, you know? This too shall pass. And maybe it will indeed. Oh! Gonna be brave and go for a second goal there. Watch that free ball, there it is, there it is. Oh, man! I feel as though those sort of like drilled shots at the near post, they are, they are quite OP, you know, I swear, I swear every single FIFA, right, there's always like a more overpowered way of scoring a one-on-one -on -one chance, and to me, I feel as though near post driven shots are the way to go when you're going through one-on-one -on -one this year. Easy, easy. Cracking first half this, mate. Cracking first half. I know I've said this before, but as good as those like dominant 3-4-0 wins are, these are the most fun games for me. This is so tense. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, it's not... Okay, it's fine. Oh, 
Right. Now, we've considered a lot of late goals, so with that being the case, I'm just going to keep it cut. It's a brilliant touch, and to finish the match as well, but we've considered a lot of late goals, so I'm saying nothing. Yeah, late goals are especially common. Oh, what a save nowadays, but... We grinded out the one goal win against Arsenal. Oh, and again! What a save! That is incredible goalkeeping. Oh, no, 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 no! God damn it! I mean, you can't say it wasn't coming. Trying to play that rapid counter there with so many white shirts forward, and sometimes you just gotta know when to hoof it, man. Quick little kick out long with my outlet man on the edge, the air, edge of the line, on the halfway line. There's a chance for a quick breakaway there, but sometimes you just got to know when to hoof it. Damn it, man! To be fair, what, what did I say for a game? Just wanted to still be in the tie. But two leads and I surrendered them both, man. You can't be doing that at this level. Did say, man, late goals, so common. Both to score and concede, to be fair. You know, it goes both ways, but even so. So, loaned out two of the young goalkeepers after the game. And then following that, how about this massive bid for Connor Roberts? Sharing the game time right back for me. Leeds, newly promoted, monster bid. It's not a bad offer. I'm going to think about it. I don't really want to sell him. But it is a huge bid for a 30-year-old. Yeah, it's a good bid, and it would give us money to reinvest, but I really like him, man. And the long throwing he's got as well. And he'll start the following game. Fox is back home for this one here. Still a bit of a tough run of form, but I was just a one loss and I think our last six games now. Starting to get a bit of a foothold. So, early corner, which is whipped into the centre. Oh, bullet! And I'm liking him, you know. I've got to be honest, I'm liking him. You know, for the, uh, for the arrivals this season, I think this one kind of slipped under the radar a little bit, to be fair. I don't know where I was going for the celebration. It was like I was pulling an Adebayor versus Arsenal those years ago. So, I think this is fifth goal in all competitions this season. I'm liking him a lot, man. Picked up on a three after the release from Porto. He's, he's a solid backup for Elijah. No chance, mate. No chance. You know those squad players that like they don't they don't play very often. When they do play, they literally never let you down. I mean, you're looking at one on the ball right now. This dude, man. Like seriously, I've got no plans to ever get rid of him. I don't care if he's done growing at like 25. This guy just does not let me down when he's in the team. He's he's solid. He just poked it through for Jashari as well. And this this should be 2-0. Oh my god, how many times have we at the woodwork this season? And I swear Lode is here about four himself. Connor down the right into Gabe, who's got a bit more pace, but instead he'll Oh keep running. Oh, he's not gonna be able to beat Wild Phase there. Put it back. On the edge. Plenty of space. Oh great save as well. 13 and a half minutes to see out our first win at home in a while, and Lord knows we could do with it. Oh, is that right again? Denied by her man, so I'd love to get Aaron a goal. I don't think he scored for me. He's such a great squad player, man. Oh, finish! And that should do it. He's done it again. Danny loaded two in the same game. What a pickup from Porto. You know, life is all about perspective. Yes, we haven't won many games recently. But you also have to say, we haven't lost many games recently. And this is going to be two wins in three. What really should have been three on the trot as well. And a big victory here to keep our... I'm not going to say faint European hopes, but we are unlikely... European hopes alive for the rest of the season. Get a third goal and that'll really instill some confidence. Oh, and I love if this guy gets it. But instead he'll turn provider. For the first hat trick of the season. He's hit the woodwork enough times. I think he deserves a match ball as well. Danny Loder. 
I'm telling you guys, if you're doing a CM this year and this guy's on a free, pick him up. And this is going to go down as perhaps our best win of this season. Oh, please. going to be the same player man that injury totally messed him up he'll never be the same player but Luton loves the boss the boss loves Luton 4-0 and that is the icing on the cherry on the cake as they used to say but also as well this is what I was talking about precision finishing and why it's so difficult why did he shoot his left why did he go with his left foot there was no need for that I guess you could say just to do a bit of swag where's the boss He's walking off with nothing. Where's the ball? That's the win of the season now. No doubt about it. And we haven't had that many comprehensive victories this season because we don't really score that many goals. But four in the same game. That's a, that's a great, great victory. So we're, we're still knocking on the European places' doors. But again, to me, I just want to make sure we stay in the top ten. Look, if we do get top seven, that'll be incredible. But, you know, take it, take it in stages. You know, we've gone from being just surviving to surviving comfortably. And now we want to be a top ten team. So far, we're on course for that. So we'll divide you the calendar because now we're going to see the draw for the FA Cup fourth round and before we do that we've loaned out yet another one of our youngsters there's, there's so many going on I know it's, it's a permanent deal this time Reuben West going to Scotland yeah I'm fine with that I don't think he was ever going to make the cut and oh there we go there we go as uh, Leeds have pulled out of the Connor Rob still I did to be honest guys I didn't really want to sell him I know it's a great fee 15 mil for a 30 year old he's now you know sharing the game time with uh with, uh, with Nico Williams, but I like him. I like him a lot. And Everton putting in a massive bid for Marmaduke. But, uh, no. No, 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 no. Keep, keep the band together, man. Maybe in the summer, but right now we're performing better than Everton. There's no need for Duke to leave after just 12 months. Keep the band together right now. And I've just seen a draw for that FA Cup fourth round. You guys might have spotted it as well. So you're not going to be an easy one. Chelsea, Hawaii at the bridge. Not sure we'll get any further than that. And after just one loss in our last seven, we now take our newfound form and confidence into, I would say, the biggest game of the save so far. Second leg, Carabao Cup semi-final, tied at 2-2 as we welcome Spurs. The only major honour of Luton Town's career, a League Cup back in 1988. Almost 40 years later, are we going to be able to at least get to a final? Well, win this and we will. I would say the biggest game of the save. Come on, you Hatters. Yeah, I think they've been in one or two FA Cup finals, but I, I know they've never won that. But the League Cup, their their sole only major honour. You know, I, I would love to win that drought. And this season, it certainly, it certainly wasn't something we thought was ever really possible, but... Especially when we were joining against Arsenal away, but to, to have stood up to the North London clubs here and done really well. I don't see why we can't finish a job here at home, especially on the back of a 4-0 thumping of the Foxes. Keenan does well and keeps hold of it and keeps going down the left-hand side as well. Duke off to him. Keep running, Dewsbury. Not known for his pace, but Duke is. Oh, no, I should have... Okay, all right. Cox is there. I know you saw it, I saw it as well. But I didn't react on time. I just pulled the trigger. Drenny got the very Good start, though. Good start. Short corner taken by Spurs. Cox, the man jockeying. And forcing Spurs to go to the edge where... Oh, no. Boo! Force backwards. Gets back. Boo! All around Kenilworth Roman. Boo! Oh, but he always got hockey assist as Galini pats it away. Still nil-nil. As Spurs and Luton both go for the opener here. That's a ball that. That's an absolutely brilliant ball. It's a fantastic ball. Everyone wants to buy it. Brennan Johnson scores, just drills it in near post. We were never going to catch up once our back line was breached. And the English born Welsh international moving on from Forest has just given Spurs the lead. Well, they came back twice in their own backyard. Why can't we do the same? So second half underway. This Duke does really well there. Oh, he's, he's on. Trying to bend it far corner in the end, but it's straight down the Frenchman's throat. Oh, what a block! And Luton escape. 
We're going to have chances. we just got to take them. Throw, Luton. This is where I need Connor Roberts, but he's, uh, he's on the bench. So I'm just going to try and give it to Gabe and then just whip one far post where Duke is waiting and gets up. Oh, what a header! We deserve it. We've got it. Marwood Duke said, I'm not leaving. Luton back on level us. What a header! That is an absolute bullet from Marmaduke. Brilliant cross by Gabe, but he beats Uber Meccano and Lloris at full stretch is going nowhere near it. We deserve that. Played really well. Just haven't taken our chances until we do. Now then, can we flip this script and turn this game on its head and make Wembley for the first time in the save? Oh, Spurs break our hearts. I don't think this is going pens, you know. I, I, I think someone's going to win this in normal time. Calm, 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 calm. 15 minutes. That's yours. Yes. Great ball by you know who. And a boy, I want a block. By also you know who. Max killed. Oh, no. Just shot as a goal and fires wide, and that is a worry. Cox is slowly getting back to his feet. But the short king has gone down, and he's not going to run that off. He's walking gingerly. That's going to be at the very least a few weeks of him out of action, I think. Just put it to the back of our minds, because we're trying to close out normal time. It's yours, Jashari. Well done, mate. And again, and again, and again. One last chance to win this here. One last chance to win this. It's brilliant defending from Andy Robertson. Stood him up brilliantly. What a tie. What a tie. And we've got 30 more minutes of this. My god. Oh, is it, no, it's, it's straight pens, isn't it? Oh my god. No, no penalties. Here we go. Here we go. Elijah, first man up. Yes, perfect start. Captain beats captain, and now it's Galini versus Nunez. Sitting the wrong way. My rule is ordinarily don't change that side if you scored it. So with that being the case, it's two from two. And the question is, will Spurs change sides? I think they will. Kulusevski denied. Duke. Oh, I just didn't have any confidence in me there. Brennan. Oh, Galini loses his feet. Right, okay, 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 okay. Okay, dude's through. I'm going to go to the bottom corner, actually. Against Hugo Lloris. Yes! Okay, we're on the brink. And it means that if Rodrigo Benzica misses, Luton Town are heading to Wembley for the first time since their playoff final victory that led them to the Premier League. As ah, oh! okay, we still got two chances. Jashari, the new man in on a free, can make himself an unlikely hero if he nets from 12 yards against Hugo Lloris. I'm going top right, and Luton Town are going. To the EFL Cup final! Yes! Come on! Oh my god! I did not want penalties, but you have to say in the previous rounds, we made it through on the spot kicks. Why couldn't we do it again? We have. I'm I'm not the best penalty kick taker. But with Galini, I seem to guess right at least half of the time. This dude should do the lottery more often, man. Because he just seems to know what decisions to make. Absolutely buzzing, man. Come on. Oh, man. I was, I was going to do the Chelsea game, but I can't after that, man. Like, I'm sorry, but I can't after that. I need, a, I need a breather, man. But no. <laughs> what a brilliant touch. You know what, though? Like, I say this all the time. And I know sometimes I sound like a broken record when I say it, but I know that like big three, four final victories, they're, they're really cool to get them. Like that game against Leicester was superb, but oh, it's a bruise for, uh, for Cox in the. I don't know how they, they say that in the post match interview, because it's like, how do you know that? Like, how do you know that before my medical staff knows that? 
Like, how are you, how are you finding this insider info? Like, it's my chief physio, like, leaking information to the media or something, but... Yeah, um, I've lost my train of thought. Yeah, but what I'm saying is that I, I love those sort of They're games, man. Like, they are so dramatic much. and just so tense, but they're brilliant. And Luton Town are heading to the first cup final to save. So we'll quickly advance one day in the calendar, and we'll see who we'll take on in the Carabao Cup final then after making it through to our first of the save. And it will be the winners of 2023's Carabao Cup final. Three years ago, they won it by beating Newcastle, and now they'll have the Hatters to deal with in the final. Bring on the Red Devils. <laughs> what? Gotta end it there, man. I need a break. That was incredible. Yes, guys, we shall leave it there on the back of that massive, high, lucky Luton Town. Doing it for the third time on the spot kicks in the Carabao Cup. And I'll see you for the next episode very soon. Well, we'll have that FA Cup fourth round tie away at the bridge. But now, I'm not really too fussed what happens. But have a fantastic day, guys. Much love to you all. And I'll see you for deadline day at the FA Cup fourth round tie. And I think I'll try and squeeze in the Carrow Cup final. That will be the end of February as well. Have a brilliant day, guys. Much love to you all. And I'll see you for the next episode. You won't want to miss it. I'll try and squeeze in that Carrow Cup final very soon. Oh, yes!